The Fisherman and His Soul Once upon a time, in a small village by the sparkling sea, lived a kind-hearted fisherman named Tommy. Tommy loved to fish more than anything else in the world. Every day, he would sail his little boat out into the deep blue waters, hoping to catch the biggest and tastiest fish. Tommy was not just a fisherman. He was also a very friendly person. He always had a big smile on his face and loved to help his neighbors. Everyone in the village loved him and admired his happy spirit. One sunny morning, as Tommy was preparing his boat for another fishing adventure, he noticed a beautiful, shimmering fish in the water. It was unlike any fish he had ever seen before. Its scales sparkled like diamonds in the sunlight. Tommy's eyes widened with wonder as he reached out to catch the fish. But as soon as he touched it, something magical happened. The fish spoke in a soft, melodious voice. Dear fisherman, please release me. I am not an ordinary fish. I am a magical fish, and I can grant you a wish in return for setting me free. Tommy was amazed and excited. He had heard stories of magical creatures, but he had never seen one before. He thought for a moment and then said, I wish for a soul that is as pure and kind as my own. The magical fish nodded and granted his wish, but there was a condition. Tommy had to give up something in return. The fish explained that he could have his wish, but his soul would be separated from his body. It would become a separate entity that could experience emotions and feelings on its own. Tommy agreed without fully understanding the consequences. He released the magical fish back into the sea, and a bright light surrounded him. Suddenly, he felt a strange sensation deep within him, and his body and soul were no longer one. At first, everything seemed fine. Tommy's soul was joyful and curious, experiencing the world in a new way. But as time passed, Tommy realized that something was missing. He felt empty inside, as if a part of him was lost. He could no longer feel the warmth of his own heart or the happiness that had once filled him. His friends and neighbors noticed the change, too. They saw that Tommy was no longer the cheerful and helpful person he used to be. He seemed distant and sad, as if his spirit had dimmed. One day, as he sat by the shore, gazing at the sea, he saw the same magical fish again. The fish looked at him with compassion and said, Dear fisherman, I see the sadness in your eyes. You have given up your heart for a wish, and now you are missing the very thing that made you who you are. Tommy's eyes filled with tears as he realized the truth of the fish's words. He had traded his heart for a wish, and he had lost the most important part of himself in the process. I want my soul back, Tommy whispered, his voice heavy with regret. The magical fish nodded and granted his second wish. The bright light surrounded Tommy once again, and his soul rejoined his body. The moment it happened, Tommy felt a rush of emotions flooding back, joy, love, compassion, and all the feelings he had missed. From that day on, Tommy became even kinder and more joyful than before. He treasured his soul and understood its true worth. He continued to fish not just for himself, but to share his catch with the village and bring smiles to their faces. The villagers noticed the change in Tommy and welcomed his warm spirit back with open arms. They admired his courage to admit his mistake and his determination to become a better person. And so, Tommy the fisherman lived happily ever after, valuing his soul and the happiness it brought him. He knew that true riches were found in the love he shared and the kindness he showed to others. And whenever he looked out at the sparkling sea, he remembered the lesson he had learned from the magical fish, that the heart and soul were the most precious treasures of all.